in the spotlight, that light is on you and, and people are constantly seeing you go through what are just normal everyday challenges and struggles, but also your network to get support is even smaller because when you have what seems to be all the success, you have a great family, you have a great career, you have money, nobody wants to hear that you're unhappy because they don't understand, first of all, you, you, why would you be unhappy? But the truth of the matter is money will never buy you happiness. Material possessions will never give you peace. And so all of us at the core of our being, regardless of our levels of success, we desire peace. And so many of us are pursuing the external things, recognition, fame, likes, followers, titles, zeros and commas between those zeros in our bank account, thinking that these things will give us that peace. And one of the greatest pains is to get to this level of success you've worked so hard to achieve and realize you're empty. And so where do you go with that? And a lot of times high achievers, because they don't have these tools that I really work with my clients to provide them, they begin the self-sabotaging. They begin to have affairs. They begin to spend money they don't have trying to buy things that they feel will fulfill them. They start recklessly making decisions that have destructive behavior. And so it's so critical um, that we look at what are those things that we have to be mindful of. Uh, I've shared one of them already. Another one is leading with entitlement instead of accountability. And, and what that means is that our drive, our drive can take us to levels of success that our character can't sustain. We literally can get to that place in our life where we're driven, but we're not confident, right? You heard those people talk about imposter syndrome or, you know, you get to that level of success and you feel like, can I do this? Can I do this? And you start self-sabotaging. And so what we have to do is be very intentional about our personal development so that our professional development and our personal development are always in sync so that our drive, which is our protective strength, and our confidence, which is our vulnerable strength, they're working together. And that's one of those tools that we as high performers have to be mindful of is our personal development. 